Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the user defined packages. So in this session, we will see the difference between the multitasking and multi-threading. Right. First of all, let us see what is meant by thread and what is meant by process. So process is a program with multiple threads. See, program with multiple threads whereas thread is it's an individual unit of a program right so a thread is an individual part of a running program whereas a process is a multiple threads of a program that means program will be having a multiple threads right thread 1 thread 2 thread 3 thread 4 this complete we call it as a program and individual part this is called a thread right now let us see the difference between multi-threading and multi-tasking. Multi-tasking multi-threading. So first one, just we have seen the definition execution of running program is called multitasking individual part of a program is a multi-threading so we can simply say this is a program so this is t1 t2 t3 and the same program consists of t1 this is called an individual thread right second the second thing each program has its own address space all right so every program will be having a different address space but here we said that a thread is an individual part of a program so multiple threads may share common address space because we know that a program is a collection of multiple threads that's why this is called heavy weight process and this is called light weight process and here we can say context switching 
is high cost. Context switching means switching from one process to another process. Right? If one process comes uh, with a higher priority, the another process will be in a block state or a waiting state. So that that type of uh, switching we call it as a context switching. So here each and every program has its own address space. So this type of switching will be high cost. And here we say that multiple threads may share the common address space. So the switching between the threads will be very easy. So that's why we can say context switching is low and very simple. Next, similarly, inter-process communication is high expensive or is expensive, is expensive and here inter-thread communication, here we should not write as inter-process, inter-thread. So within the same program, multiple threads will be there. So inter-thread communication is inexpensive, right? So the same thing here, each and every program will share the common address space. So that's why here the inter-process communication that means if, if one process wants to communicate with another process so both are both are having with say different address space so it is somewhat expensive and coming to this multiple threads may share the common address space so communication between those threads may be inexpensive and multitasking is not under control of java And here there is a concept called threads. So there is a class called a thread. So that's why it is it can be controlled up, controlled in Java. Right? Under control of Java. It it is not control under control of Java here itself. So this is a, a difference between multi-threading and multitasking. Now our Java supports this multi-threading concept, right? So in the next session, we will start this thread concept. So what is the thread life cycle? And then we will see uh, the different methods available in threads, thread class. And then we will see how to implement the thread class. I mean, I mean how to implement a thread and uh, how to implement the multiple threads as well as how to uh, achieve the thread synchronization. So all these things we will see in the further classes. Hope you understood this session. If you really like it, like my sessions, share my sessions with your friends. And if you are having any doubts, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much.